Hey, it's me, and in case you're wondering why I'm standing over here of all places, um, the sun is extremely fierce today, and I've basically been evicted from uh, both of my recording areas, so uh, I'm gonna have to record over here, I hope you don't mind, I don't know how it looks, I'm usually kind of picky with the lighting settings and all that, but uh, this is probably good enough, this is just an impromptu video um, about the 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 I won't say imminent, but that's not the right word. The 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 not supposed either. The nuclear power plant in Japan, basically, and its badness. It's going through some bad times. Nothing is imminent, and nothing is supposed. But okay, I'm just gonna talk about it. Okay, so in case you didn't know, Sweden is. Uh, Europe's Europe Eur Europe Europe's uh, least nuclear country we have the least amount of nuclear power plants we use the least amount of nuclear power uh, we have one nuclear power plant I think we used to have more how bad with those things I don't know we, we, we have power a power plant but everybody in Sweden seems to want to get rid of it because if you mention nuclear to uh, to a delay man he gets afraid and if you mention uh, radioactivity to a layman he gets afraid and the layman is the kind of people like my mom who who uh, told me that oh don't open the door to the microwave because you will oh you know let out all of the radioactivity that's inside uh, or the layman as my boss who thinks that what they're doing at the nuclear power plant in Japan is letting off some radioactivity so that the pressure of radioactivity will be less that's not what they're doing what they're doing is that they're letting off some steam uh, from the reactor some steam that they from the water that they use to cool the reactor rods not whatever um, they're letting off the steam because the pressure is too high they're not actually letting out radioactivity uh, I'm uh, point of that is that the layman lots of air quotes in this episode uh, the layman doesn't really know what he's talking about he he doesn't understand it he just he gets his um, knowledge of it from Indiana Jones 4 where apparently sitting in a in a leaded uh, refrigerator refrigerator will save you from a nuclear explosion that's not how it works. And in case you didn't know, I'm one of my hobbies is actually um, quantum physics. I really like quantum physics. I don't understand the math of it and all that, but I do know how a, uh, a nuclear power plant works, and not many people can say that. I don't understand the math, like I said, so I can't build one, but I understand the concept. And I also understand the concept of, of a nuclear bomb, and they're not the same, just because they both have nuclear in the name. Or nuclear, if you want to be American. Um, a nuclear bomb doesn't really work that well if you want to use it as a reactor. If they built reactors like bombs, it would be incredibly silly and, and it would be, you know, dangerous because it would be a bomb. So, the reactor in Japan isn't gonna blow up. It doesn't actually matter if it does blow up. That's not the danger. If a reactor blows up, nothing re really bad happens. Except for in the immediate area. It's not going to be a nuclear explosion. It's not going to be uh, that bad of a situation. Although it has blown up uh, two, maybe three times by now. But it wasn't actually the reactor. It was just, you know, explosions in the facility. Uh, which is bad, of course. But let's get to that in a bit. Um, uh, what was I saying, right? What's bad is if it happens what happened in Chernobyl, which is that the, the, the water that cools the, uh, the, the material uh, all goes away. It was a leak, I think, in Chernobyl. And when the material gets contact with the air, it basically becomes an extremely warm radioactive goo it melts down which is a meltdown and 
uh, if you know in Chernobyl what happened was that the containment area failed basically not even sure if they had a containment area back then um, and the the extremely hot material set fire to the building so everything started burning it evaporated and an enormous gas cloud of you know soot and stuff that was radioactive blew away and you know made people sick because it was just radioactive air that's what happened in Chernobyl and that's bad nowadays though more than 20 years later we don't build uh, reactors like they did in friggin communist Russia we're better at it uh, in Japan um, I can't say a hundred percent sure because you know I'm not an expert per se <laughs> but I'm pretty goddamn sure that it's not gonna have the same effect mainly because we know about what happened in Chernobyl and we know that we have to stop that particular thing worst case scenario I suppose they could just blow the whole thing up and collapse the building that would probably uh, stop it ish it would you know contain it because all I have to do is if st stuff starts happening it will actually melt down into a containment area that's built specifically to hold the meltdown and that's all that happens basically just contain it and then it's you know safe ish <laughs> now what's happening right now is that from what I heard last it's been updated by the time you watch this I'm sure um, they they used okay they need electricity to cool it they don't have electricity because of the tsunamis and earthquakes uh, so they use batteries and the batteries are running out and I don't know I don't know because I'm not there again I'm not, not there I'm not an expert but I guess they could just bring out new batteries uh, it doesn't make or break the situation per se uh, still my, my point though is that they have it under control the, the radioactivity levels even are dropping the ones that they said oh it's too high for people to be outside well they're dropping now so it's you know barely even a problem anymore and like I said, people in Sweden are butthurt because we don't think we should have nuclear power. And they had an in, uh, a web poll about it and people, 70% uh, of all people said that nuclear power was good. But the rest of the people said that no, we shouldn't have nuclear power because look at what's happening in Japan. Well, what's happening in Japan is that one of the biggest earthquakes in millennia plus a giant ass tsunami plus a couple of explosions in the nuclear power plant has made a situation that's almost bad that's how much it takes to get past all of the security they have put in place to make sure that nothing bad happens Sweden on the other hand can't have tsunamis because you know it's covered in uh, in uh, in land around it even though we have a lot of coasts we were kind of protected we we had one uh, earthquake it was very very tiny but it was the, almost the first one you we ever had so it was a big hubbub uh, we live in a very safe area we wouldn't have those kind of things however when the media talks to people because the media loves just stepping up the, the the problem to make it sound worse than it is uh, the media asks ask experts and they ask questions like you know could accidents happen of course accidents can happen accidents can happen on wind power plants too a wind power plant could fall over and like it could keep spinning and it could like cross wire somehow so it actually becomes an engine and then just you work as a as a like a boat and just into a populated city and just kill people that could happen right they, you can't ask could accidents happen because that's the vaguest question i've ever heard uh, and then they ask like what's the worst case scenario 
and the expert has to say like well it could be a meltdown like in Chernobyl and the containment area could break and uh, you know a fire could start that's the worst case scenario that doesn't mean that it's a big problem or you know big shan risk rather but it is the worst case scenario they, they can't just ask what's the worst case scenario and, and hearing somebody go well I suppose a comet could fall from the sky and hit the facility in just the right angle to create a nuclear explosion that is not something you should be worried about because that would be stupid my point is that nuclear power isn't as bad as people say it is and the media isn't helping right now I truly hope nothing you know bad happens it's not gonna be a meltdown just don't even worry about that uh, but I hope that it, nothing, you know, too many people gets uh, deadened by this uh, nuclear power plant incident. Incident, that's a good word for it. Uh, because if people deem this to be a catastrophe, then it will severely halter the amount of nuclear power we will get in the near time. People in Germany apparently has stopped... Uh, you you know stopped making decisions on nuclear power issues until they see what happens in Japan and what happens in Japan and what happens anywhere else in the country has nothing to do with each other because of you know the friggin tsunamis and stuff it's not gonna happen in Germany um, uh, like from what I heard last four people got injured in um, in the power plant accident at the start, I'm sure more people have gotten injured trying to fight off fires and all that. Uh, if you compare that to the actual earthquake and tsunamis, where a hundred thousand people are missing, it 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 kind of uh, makes the nuclear power plant doesn't it doesn't sound that dangerous, does it? Compared to the sea. <laughs> Which is now killing hundreds of thousands of people. It it just baffles me how afraid people are of nuclear power. And I don't really understand why. Well, I do understand why. It's because they don't know enough about it. I know stuff about it and therefore I'm not really afraid of it. I would happily live next to a nuclear power plant. Uh, Illustrated Science, I think it's the name. Uh, actually made a survey, not a survey, but uh, a thing <laughs> way way back. I remember reading this as a kid and I found it funny so I remembered it. Um, living next to a nuclear power plant for your entire life is equally dangerous as uh, going on vacation in New York for a week. That doesn't mean that millions of people die in New York that just means that nobody really dies next to a power plant, nuclear power plant. If it wasn't for Chernobyl, it, nobody would probably care about it. If it wasn't for Chernobyl, the death rate of nuclear power plants would be pretty damn low. So, the reason of this video is just if you have a chance of telling people anything about nuclear power, if anyone asks you, do you think we should have nuclear power? Just try to educate them and tell them that yes, it's the cleanest, safest, cheapest form of power we have today. Sorry about that. Uh, right, where was I? Right. You heard me right, too. Um, it's the cleanest form of power we have. You might be thinking, oh, but what about the nuclear waste? That's bad, right? No. It's not bad. <laughs> Why is it bad? They take it and they bury it and we never see it again. I know that people are, are skeptical about that, but I know how they bury it. The, the amount of safeguards they put in that is actually ridiculous. It will never f friggin move from the place where they've buried it. Even if it does move, it's placed in an area which doesn't have um, underground rivers and all that, so it can't actually get anywhere, even if it 
uh, did you know something happen I, I can't even imagine what would happen it's put in uh, tiny bits of pellets that just covers each, each piece, piece of uh, material so you know it, it's completely indestructible basically worst case scenario it just lies there and uh, sure we have to put it there and you know we might run out of space on the planet but the thing is, if we used any other form of um, uh, power, if we used coal, we would all be dead by now, because, you know, the, the fumes... Just don't even start me off on that. Like, if, if, if you... If, you <laughs> if, if a fire started in a coal uh, energy plant, it would still be going today, even if the plant was started on fire, you know, on the 60s. That's dangerous. <laughs> if we just used, like some guy commented on a video on YouTube, uh, that he thought we should only use wind power. If we only use wind power, the, re the, the resulting manslaughter of uh, construction workers that would statistically die during the construction of all of the wind power plants we would need would be far more than a nuclear power plant could ever hope to kill. Not to mention the cost of uh, all the materials, because we would have to cover the planet with wind power plants, which doesn't always work. We need nuclear power. A wind power plant can barely run one house if you put it on your house, like, well, it's a small version. That's actually an interesting thing, though, that you can buy, I think it costs... Uh, 10,000 kroners, or was it euros? Either way, you can put a f fan on your house and uh, it will spin and it will give you power. And if you live in a good area for it, you can actually regain the money it costs to build it in a year. That's pretty good. Still not a feasible strategy to, uh, to run an entire city or a country or the world, but that's an interesting uh, alternative, if you will, to... Uh, not wanting to use nuclear power. I just wanted to point it out because I found it interesting. I think I'm done. <laughs> nuclear power plants are not dangerous. Now, if I upload this and uh, two seconds later the nuclear power plant in Japan blows up in a nuclear explosion, let's go wild, uh, it starts a meltdown and it just covers the the west side of America, I guess, in uh, in uh, radioactive fumes. That would be bad, sure, but it's not the power plant's fault. It's you know the tsunamis and shit. It's not the power plant's fault. It can't help that. It's not because radioactivity is bad. It's because of all the shit happening around it. That's what my point of this video. I mean, God, from what I heard, they, they just today found the first two survivors under the rubble since the earthquake. They just today found the first survivors. Everybody else they found was dead. That's how bad the earthquake was. And people are as afraid of this uh, nuclear power plant because it exploded once. It's not a problem. Hopefully. In case you live in, a, in, in Japan, I guess you wouldn't see this because you wouldn't have power or internet. Well, maybe, you, whatever. If you have family there or something like that, I'm sorry for your loss and all that, but don't blame the power plant. That's the least of your problems. Uh, yeah, this is a very long and very ranty video, but uh, I... I have an interest in, in nuclear power plants and the like, and I just wanted to spread some of the edutainment. So, uh, let's just hope this recorded right, because this isn't, I didn't make a test video or anything. Uh, yeah, bye.